it's now time for me to get the other side of the camera and let me invite my producer to walk or partly to see if she's got any comments she would like to ask this man. This is what we want to do. We, 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 we want to give you uh, uh, weapons of preparation uh, because uh, we feel we feel yes. somehow. That has happened. And yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm a person who follows social media a lot mm. uh, because I'm interested in the current trends, what's going on around the world, what's going on around me. Mm. I would like to know what's happening, what can affect me, what doesn't and what not. What you mentioned that people are lazy to think. That's why we have these fake prophecies, fake pastors who are making people drink uh, petrol and eating grass and everything that we see on social media almost every day. So uh, my question is, is it because we, the new generation, we lack identity, we don't know who we are um, simply, and then because of that we are easily manipulated and how can we actually educate ourselves about our identities because now most of the literature that you mentioned it says it can be an african literature but it's written from um, a point of view of a european person and whatnot so yes oh beautiful table because uh it's uh, funny enough uh the book itself its theme actually is as i said is this young man pila who feels he has no roots you understand he lacks this identity and uh, when I said even now to you is that, that uh, I feel that somehow we also failed you because we failed to give our young people a strong sense of identity. And then if they had that, they would never be uh, influenced the, this way in a, wrong, in a wrong kind of way. And it's, it's not even about education. It's about a sense of self. But the problem is, and then this is where apartheid and colonialism uh, contributed, it destroyed our sense of self as, as black people, as nation. Yeah, and as it made us uh, uh, even doubt ourselves. And it, it made us believe that we're inferior. And then this is where the problem lies. Mm -hmm. This is why I said to you, I'm more of a black conscious person. I'm about a, a, a black person realizing his worth hand to hand with other people, with Indians, Chinese, white people, but with a sense of self. But we've made, like, to doubt ourselves. They've made us to belittle ourselves. I mean, you can see it every day. If you go to a shop, there's a waiter or somebody who's serving there. He serves a white man before you. He's mm -hmm. so respectful and respectful. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to you, what do you want? You understand? Another black person, would they, they you, do, do you get it? It's, it's like... I, I saw this thing yesterday on, fa on Facebook. It says, uh, I wish black lives mattered also to other black people. Yes. And this is where we are. Mm. And this is what we need to do. The, the, the way to equip our people, especially the young ones, is to teach them. You see, this is the reason why I enacted the, this history from the closer point of view, the black point of view, because that history is on the archives. It's spoken from the military point of view, from the British officials, from the British soldiers. From You never see it from the coastal point of view. Mm. And I'm like, I ne we need to put this so that our people know also that but we too had heroes. Mm. You know, even they, though the, the British respected Umar Goma, they feared him the more than respecting him because he was a military genius. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And he was very wise. And then they, said, they themselves were always saying, but... They have never seen a, a person with such eloquence. And then I was thinking, always looking, looking, looking on the archives. There, is, there isn't any where they actually quote him. So now I took these minutes of their, of their meetings with, with them, with the chiefs, where my grandma spoke, and then I, I just reimagined it. Mm. I took the facts of the meetings, I just put emotions and psychological insight behind it. You understand? Okay. And then once our children, see that we too have heroes. Mm. And then they would say, they would see that, but we're not inferior to anybody else. I mean, there's, there's this professor in Edinburgh who actually literally told me that, but had it not been of colonialism and, uh, or, or racism, my comma would have been regarded on the same statue as Napoleon Bonaparte. Yes. Because how, that's how brilliant he was as a general in, in the Landos. 
in the field. He is the person who, who, who first established the, what we, today we call guerrilla wars because he saw that, he says that it's meaningless to attack British people on an open field. They will yeah. destroy you because they have cannons, yeah, they have the these things, you understand? So you must go to the, to the bush, you must go to the mountains, mm -hmm. you must attack them when they, when when they, they, are, they are not here. away. Mm -hmm. yes. Before they could, they, they, they lost their food security. Even if they, they lost the battle, they could still live to, to fight another war. Mm -hmm. But then now came this, this tragedy of non mm -hmm. which, by the way, had its seeds from Ungain, Makanda, the one you are, you are saying is a hero. Mm -hmm. Because it's Ngana who says but he's gonna rise up from the from, from the ocean mm. and come with the river people mm. and destroy the white people. And you understand with with, with pure bread cattle and all that stuff. That thing of Nong Ngausi came back thirty six years. Those are the seeds of, of, of Ngan. Mm. The damage that he did. You, under, you understand Ungale by the way is Makanda. Yes. Even thirty six years after he was he had died. That thing is, 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 is still there and it destroyed the, the Kosa nation because once the Kosa people lost their food security and couldn't feed themselves, there was no way except becoming slaves to white mm. farmers. Mm. They could never uh, rise again. Oh, the yeah. young, that young girl mm. was used by men, powerful men. Mm. So they used yeah. her as a scapegoat yes. after that, yes. whereas these things were, were yeah. oh, Makanda and Ngale's yeah. ideas. Yes. Because uh, we know this, Umcheza, for instance, and they used that girl. And you know how tragic the end of that girl was. Mm. Her life ended in tragedy, in isolation, because everybody blamed her Came for everything. You yes. understand her for everything that happened. Everybody mm. blamed her. And then they, they used her. So I would like like a young woman like you to, to write that story. Mm. And then it needs to be re written from a, from a woman's uh, point of view. We must make sure that our people are not manipulated and influenced by wrong influences. You understand? In the name of uh, just because I'm, I'm black, come this side, come this side, while we are leading people in, into an abyss. Mm. You understand? I mean, these things are silly mm. that we should still be doing these things. These, I mean, almost 200 years after that, okay. we are still on the same trend. You understand? Mm. So we, we need to enlighten our people. We need to enlighten ourselves. And we need to own our history. And then, yes, it's right that we must tell our history with our own voices mm. because it's always been told from the point of prejudice. Yes. You understand? So we need to tell it from the point of understanding our own culture. Mm. Anyway, thank you for the question. The yes. thought of this kid, in my book, I have a chapter on Ong Nao says, well, mm. I'll mm. tell people what happened mm. through the lens of my mentors, Manfred Maxineer from Chile, yeah. his understanding of what he calls collective pathologies of frustration. Mm. And I tell you what really concerns me now is that I, I mentioned Greta Thunberg, mm. the 16 year old, mm, who is now mm, this mm, international mm. figure. Mm. And it suddenly occurred to me, you got talking, that this is a, almost like a repeat of a history. How do we honor our responsibility to young people mm. who, in some ways, can see things? and are susceptible to being abused mm -hmm. and manipulated by people with other mm -hmm. agendas. Mm -hmm. that's people are and that goes to your question about how do you fireproof people from these, these pastors that want to get them to drink benzene and manipulate them? Mm -hmm. How do you help people to kind of be resistant to these sorts of so toxic thinking, mm -hmm. which then leads to basically just more suffering? So. I found that in the world of social media, there is fake news, mm. there is you mm. know, there is a lot happening you need to be aware of. Another thing that, that I'm interested to find out is that even in this day and age, we we the youth will say we want the land, you know, this is what we need mostly mm. is the land. Mm. It has become a trend that mm. we need the land and whatnot. Mm. Um there are still Areas, for example, in Goloveni, there is Rustinberg where the land currently it is still under the chiefs. The, chiefs. Mm. the chiefs have the right to allocate the land to their people. Mm. However, because of the whole money, mm. we are in recession, we don't have money and everything. Now it comes to a point of who do we give the land to, right? Um, when we do allocate the land to our people, what they 
do with the land. For example, I've got a friend in Rustenburg. He's very interested in farming. Mm. He has done all his power to go to his area, the Rustenburg Royal Bafugeng, to ask for a land mm. because he's farming. Um, he was not given a land. He's he's from the Rustenburg, but he was not granted um, the land. Mm. Now, recently there was European people who came with an idea that if you, the locals, um, plant tobacco, we can be in business together. This is how much you're going to make from there. Mm. And all of a sudden, the chiefs have agreed to what was said. They're now in the process of, you know, getting the land working now because somebody from outside has influenced that there will be a lot of money mm. if we do this and this and this. A friend of mine who was born there, busy, grew up, is still the resident that side. He wants to do something which will actually benefit the village as well. He will create um, employment and whatnot. They don't see that. So mm. we still believe in the white supremacy because the white from Europe came with an idea that if you plant tobacco, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna make money. Mm, mm, He's a black a lo a local guy. He came with an idea that if he he was actually been doing it, this is what I'm doing. We're planting our own vegetable. We are feeding ourselves. Mm. We are, you know, planting building. Avocados yes, and all those you understand? Stuff. Because it's coming from them, from him. It's it's nothing. It's of no value. No support. But no. because the white people, when they come from outside, they are more believed. Mm. Mm. So it, how do we eradicate that mentality in a way? Yeah, you see, this is this 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 problem you are talking about now. It's a problem of politics more yeah. than anything else. Mm. Okay. It's, it it comes back to that thing I was talking about. Uh, Black people and the chiefs in particular, mm. when they see a white person, they see money. They think there's going to be money following. Yes. You understand that they say, so they're like, yeah, 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 bring that white guy, bring that white guy here. Yeah, he's going to make money. You can go to, to a chief today and say, but chief, uh, yeah, I want you to give me uh, uh, acres of land mm. because I want to plant cannabis and uh, because I want to press it into oil. Because cannabis oil now is 100 gram of it is about $500. Just 100 gram. It's a, it's a green gold. You mm. understand? Mm. The chiefs will say, but I, Nina, you just want to smoke dark. Mm. You understand that there's mm. nothing you, you're going to do with this. Okay. A, a week after that, a white man goes there and says, but can you give me a land in this? Because this land in Sigilsig, we know that but it, it, it grows dark. I mean, cannabis and dark very well. And then he said, "Oh, of course, of course, of course. It's easy. It's mm -hmm. just that, but you must, you must, you must give something for our people, so that it's always our people. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then that uh, the, that that guy, like for instance, whether he's from Australia, anyway, it can be Canada. Mm -hmm. If he says, but, okay, I'm gonna plant this field. Mm -hmm. Whatever I get from this, 25 percent is from is for your community. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The community will be lucky if they get one percent okay. from the chief." Yeah. You understand? Mm. And that, so these are self-destructive modes we need to get out of as black people mm. because we were locked in self-destructive modes. You understand? Mm. And uh, now I, won't, I won't lie to you. I, I have no... I've despaired for our generation. Mm. I've, I've, I'm, I'm hopeful for the, the younger generation, you, you guys. But it, it could be corrected to, on you. You see, the, the, the older generation, my... It, it, they they want these shortcuts. Mm. They, they 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 don't want to invest in long term things. They they want shortcuts. They want a, a big company from America to come give them millions, mm. and then they can do whatever they like. Mm. And then they they they, they don't even uh, care. Uh, whatever if if it, it destroys that environment like mm. a colobin, mm. if it's gonna destroy the environment, they don't care as long as they get money. They get money as long as they time. get money, born as as they choose. And then you find them. Uh, a week before all these things, they are driving four by fours with 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 tires on on the back, and you're like, huh? So quick. Uh, and then you go to the community meeting. The the chief is literal against you. Mm. He's the only person who's fighting. Who, fighting for this white campaign. Mm. You understand? Mm. Why in, why why in the in, in that trouble now? Mm. You understand? 
And the, the most important thing to do now is to change the mentality of people. Mm -hmm. And then if you, it's easier to change the, the mentality of the young. Mm -hmm. And it's easier to, to work with people who are, who are young because they are, they are educated and they are self-conscious about these things. They know them. Mm -hmm. The other people just want quick bucks. The older people, they want quick bucks. They think by it's their turn to eat, you understand? It sounds as if we're ending on a despairing mood, John, but <laughs> I'm sorry, but sometimes we have to say these things frankly, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because this experience Sutebu is talking about is general. You find it in Transkai, you find it everywhere. It's, it's mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. And uh, to end on the land issue, we must be sensitive. Mm -hmm. When we say we want land, what are we going to do with the land? Of course, yeah, there is this popular thing now. It does not matter. We'll see when the land is there. You understand? You see, in, in Cat River, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's the land of Magoma. It's a beautiful, rich valley land. And uh, it's, it's cool. I describe it on, on the book. And that's the land Magoma was, 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 was aggrieved about mostly mm -hmm. when the British took it from him. And the British uh, allocated it uh, into white farmers who, plant, who planted citric uh, trees on it. So now when you go, there's orchards, orchards everywhere. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, in 1998, the workers there yeah, and the farmers sat mm -hmm. down. Mm. And the farmers uh, were actually together with government. And they said, uh, and then government uh, bought three farms there. And then these farms were going to be worked by, the, the owned by the workers. Mm. You understand? Mm. And then it said, okay, these are yours. You understand? You already know how to farm mm. these citric oranges. Mm. So you can, you can do this. Mm. They capitalized them. Mm. They made a mistake of giving them money instead of equipment. Mm. You understand? Mm. They took the money, went to the cities. The farms lay there, fallow. For three years, mm -hmm. for three years, nothing and was happening. Another yeah, no, nothing happening. And now, government has, is, is buying them back to them, from them now, oh. with another man. Oh. Because now he wants, they want to do community uh, thing now, mm -hmm. so that it, it does, is not owned by individuals, mm -hmm. which perhaps in retrospect is what they should have done mm -hmm. yes. in the first place. Mm -hmm. You understand? So those individuals now are getting uh, paid twice. Most of them are here in Joburg and Cape Town. They came here, bought themselves taxis, and then they, they decided that they want to live this life of the city born. You understand? Whereas uh, it's, all, it's not all uh, gloom and whatever, because uh, in, in, uh, in, in PE, the, the farmers, the apple farmers, there's a, there's a valley there that they, they farm. Uh, apples. The farmers said, in our farm, 25% we're going to give to the farm workers. It's going to be well owned by farm workers. Okay. And we will work the farm together. Mm -hmm. And then he said to, to government, capitalize them so that they own. They, they, and then government came and gave them the title deeds. Okay. So the workers worked normally the way they were working, working. but now right. knowing that but they, they are owners also they are mm. not workers yes. and that that model has thrived okay. that model is thriving mm. and that the farmers are saying but hey now we don't even have to go after workers you we, we there were there are less sicknesses they are less no, no, because yeah. they have a sense of ownership yes they, they understand but this also are, they are part yes. of this yes. you yeah. understand and then on their part of the land, they are building themselves, land of the government, built them RTP houses. Mm -hmm. And now they are extending them with the profits they get from the, from, because that, 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 that orchards is the one that actually supplies the UK with apples. Very and so, so now they're getting shares uh, every year. And mm -hmm. then they, sometimes they will be given, you, you can say there's a manager, mm -hmm. can say, look, I want to borrow against my shares. I need to extend my house. Mm. So, but they, 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 the managers won't give you for consumption. You understand? You, you can't say, give me 50,000. Mm. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. You understand? So I think that's the best model perhaps we should uh, follow if we're, we're talking about this. Uh, this uh, 
uh, this uh, one land, this mm. for now. Even if uh, we're in Fort Buford, I saw another one in Fort Buford. The farmers, and actually I had a, a very good uh, uh, launch of my book in Fort Buford. Fort Buford is where my comma is originally is. The farmers came mm. there in my book. Mm. They were going where they were coming with the chiefs, the Makoma House and mm. Charlie's Royal House. You understand? Yes. They wanted to listen and they bought my book two by two. You understand? Mm. And then the other one was telling me, you know what we did here? Mm. Our government bought uh, our uh, the communities a land. Mm. So now what we do is we work from uh, Monday to Friday. Mm. Saturdays we all go work on the community farms. Okay. The farmers take their own tractors mm. and go and help the community on, on that land, that government. And then, and then they, they said, but all we, 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 we require for them is that they must put mm. diesel mm. On, on, the, on the tractors. Mm. And so on Saturdays, Saturdays are, are meant for working on the community farmers. And then this farmer is saying to me, it is so nice. We ourselves as farmers look forward to that Saturday because in the afternoon it's prime April. You know, yeah. when people say yeah. prime April. <laughs> What is why we, we sat around and we drink the uh, uh, London's a brand and coke? What is so lacquer? And then as as it is it has uh, like it has made them the, the farmers themselves even feel at easy at yeah. home. Yeah, man, yeah. They, are, they are welcomed by the, the community. But now even the stealing has stopped. Yeah. Has stopped because, because the community the respect them. They know them as, as people. And, yeah. They know each other. They don't know each other as uh, employee yeah, and the yeah, boss, you understand? Yeah. So th th these are models we should be following. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, these are the models, and it's it's easy. The, the the solutions are there. It's just that, but there's no political will sometimes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. There is no political That's will. Right. You understand? Right. And you see this 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 model. Mm -hmm. Even the white people themselves, uh, it dropped their tensions because they were tense. Yes. They're, they are living and thinking that but these people are going to invade our farms. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. But now they they can see that but oh. Even they themselves, they say, but next year we want to add more land for yeah. the community to have more land, yeah. so that we we do this this same thing. You understand? Okay. So that's the the solutions are there. Uh, it's just that, but now we're electing wrong people to governance. Yep. Yeah. That's the problem. That one, yeah. That's the problem. So, but um, in regard to your yesterday, you said you attended the film um, book club. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always. curious to find out how how many young people were actually there attending. They were actually all young, and I was, I was quite fascinated. Really? That's why I'm excited. They were actually all, all young and 98% female. Nice. <laughs> okay, and awesome. intelligent. Yeah. Intelligent. Yeah. The, between, the, between the covers club, mm. sure, intelligent women, Dagama. Okay. I, uh, I, I got a lot of flack myself about <laughs> yeah. the patriarchal tendencies, yeah, no, <laughs> which I accepted, which I accepted when, when, when you, when, when you are, when the truth is being shown, mm. you must accept it. You must not become defensive yeah. about it. So, uh, I liked how, uh, I saw my book being interpreted from the young black female point of view. Yes. You understand? Yes. And then. I could see myself that, but okay. Though I mentioned that there were women warriors, mm. but I didn't emphasize that okay. that point. You yes. understand? Because yes. it started like that. But we we felt that by you, this 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 book was mostly about men, Many. and then we know now we know for a fact there were yes. uh, women mm. cause uh, warriors, and then you you mention it only in passing. Yeah, you don't you don't you wait, why didn't you yes. get into it? You understand? Yeah. I said, okay, I, I understand that. I yeah. made a mistake on that. Okay. Perhaps next time I'll correct well, it. Next <laughs> yeah. See more women yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Cool. Thank you, John. Well for the next interview. interview you're gonna you interview her and say yes. how does she feel about this responsibility that you now have in your shoulders? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll be more prepared mm. <laughs> Okay, and another thing is that um you see the world is moving into audio and technology and do you know, do you still think it's it's wise to have only a hard copy can like or yeah, you know, well, in terms of books, because most people now they read on the go, mm. and on a cell phone it's easier. Yeah, we do. To yeah. now I'm I'm driving or whatever, and then I still need to yeah go page by page. You know, yeah. even in taxis you're not really safe to be sitting with. A I book. know, I know. But on the phone you, you can, can just it's the audio book. Audio, uh -huh. you can listen to it, yeah. and yeah. I hope. 
Tabi, so uh, Jakana, my publisher, you are listening. Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying this to you. We need to put yeah. this on order. I hope you are listening. The truth of the matter is that uh, uh, we are a small publisher. Okay. And uh, apparently, I don't know these things. It's apparently to put it in audio is a little bit expensive. But we're on it. We wanna we, mm. we wanna do it. Uh, I got a suggestion from mm. uh, the Department of Education in Eastern Cape when I was there yes. for Grahamstown Arts Festival, mm. ah, National Arts Festival. Mm. Mm. I'm betraying my my age now when I say Grahamstown. <laughs> Uh, it's no so, <laughs> so uh, yeah. the thinking of uh, abridging the book mm. and uh, doing it as a set work for high school, for high which school. would be nice. I, and that I would be like, great. Yeah, actually. I would like that because mm. everybody keeps telling me that, but this book should be a set work. Yeah, this, should be, this so is how we can get, get it to our the children. Yes. They, they understand their mm. history. Because currently, I'm also trying to do a research on my culture exactly. in my my, my exactly. family because mm-hmm. um in my area there are villages where they are called abu Pata, okay like okay. a party mm. and i don't understand how the it goes yeah, yeah they mm. are royalty and whatnot mm. but mm. i don't understand the whole history beside mm. what i get from google which will tell you partly it's one of the yeah, sons from Sukukune and the Sukukune history is also vague as well. Mm, mm. I don't, I don't really know basically like my roots, my identity. Do yeah. your, this do, is do your exam, my sister. Yeah, finish it, and when you've got time, go to the National Library of South Africa and mm. go to the ICAS. There is no other way. Mm. There is a, a a book sitting with you, I'm sure. Mm. Uh, so so the world you're yeah. sitting with. Yeah, I know. Just finish up and <laughs> your degree and quickly and yeah, do yeah. your, your duty. I'm, I'm actually happy that um, I'm part of this. As I said yesterday, like I learned yeah. a lot from mm. these shoots with John. Mm. I actually actually get to know and understand myself more mm. as we go because I find out the I relate as well. Mm. The stories that he's covering and mm. the stories that he's telling, it's something that I relate and I know it's not only me. Mm. There's someone in Northwest, there's somebody, someone. you know, when I speak to my other friends, I tell them, Greg, yes, <laughs> that this is what I've learned. I, I was doing today, I've learned this and this, and then I'm like, oh my word, wow, actually, I kind of like get what you're saying, you know, and it, it gives me the idea that as much as we might be different in colors and cultures and everything but we're still the same well for humanity is our common value first of all yes and that's that's interesting (laughs)